Well hello and welcome once again to the Waters and Stanton video channel. It's rather a pleasant summer's evening. The sun is just going down behind the trees now but it's still pleasantly warm and it's a great sort of time of the year to mess about with antennas. You know I've spoken recently about doublet antennas. I've, I've been messing about the last few days with uh, doublet antennas and uh, I thought I'd share something with you which you might want to try and experiment with. You know, the doublet I originally erected here had a 70 foot top and had um, four, uh, 60 feet of 450 ohm ladder line going back to the radio room. And I decided to extend the top section from 70 foot to 100 foot and I just extended it on one side so it's offset really, which I, I mentioned in the previous video, there's nothing wrong with an offset doublet. And uh, I then um, uh, attached a, an antenna analyzer to the ballon, because what actually happens, I've got the top section, 450 ohm ladder line goes into a ballon, and uh, the ballon then connects to the transceiver. And I thought I'd put an antenna analyzer on it, and I was quite amazed, because there was multiple resonances and this sort of brought back memories of when I experimented many years ago um, with this sort of system and it really um, sort of triggered the G5RV. The G5RV um, actually operates on frequencies that are lower than the top resonance section. The 5RV is 102 foot long, sorry I don't know what it is in uh, metric, but 102 foot long and it resonates or operates on 80 meters and that's because effectively part of the 80 meter antenna is folded down into the um, into the ladder line although the G5RB traditionally or at least the, the, the one that finally evolved uh, just used 30 odd foot of, uh, of 450 ohm ladder line anyway this particular antenna I've got has got double the length of, uh, of ladder line at least if not more and looking at the antenna analyzer you get multiple resonances um, and actually, you know, well, let, me, let me tell you, I'm a sort of guy that enjoys messing about with antennas. Give me a wire cutter and a, a reel of wire and I'll make you an antenna eventually. Um, I tend not to look so much at the textbooks and work out what the theoretical length should be because in practice it very often is not quite the same because of your own particular situation. If you bend the element round, it's a bit lower, a bit higher, etc, etc. So, um, I'm one of these guys that tends to be happy with a pair of wire cutters and my lawn at times is littered with off cuts of wire and I very often cut the wire and I find it's too short and I join it in again and eventually when I've finally got the length I'll probably replace it with a new length of wire that hasn't had cuts and knots and goodness knows what's into it. Anyway, coming back to this, if you connect an antenna analyzer to a doublet with a reasonably long length of ladder line, you'll find you get multiple resonances. Now when I say resonances, I'm not talking about 1.2 or 1.3 to 1, I'm talking about you could be 1.5 to 1, it could be 4 to 1, 5 to 1. You get these, these troughs, which is not surprising really because of the way a doublet works is that the whole antenna, including the feeder, participates and determines what you see at the feed end, in other words the end that comes into your shack. That's the thing. That's, it's the whole antenna which, which determines what you see at the shack end. Forget the bit at the top, forget the radiation element and the, 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 where, the determination in the air. That really is only part of the antenna. Because of that long length of feeder, you start to get multiple resonances. And you can actually engineer this to work for you. Um, and you do need an antenna analyzer really to do this, but if you do a scan on an antenna analyzer, you can start to adjust the length of the antenna such that you get some decent matches on the ham bands. Now, I haven't spent an awful lot of time on this yet, and unfortunately I'm, I'm away for a few days. But when I come back, hopefully I'll spend a bit more time on it and uh, sort of draw a few more conclusions. You might want to try it yourself. Let me know how you get on. It's an interesting concept. I suspect that you need a fairly long length of 450 ohm ladder line to, to actually get these, these, re these multiple resonances. In fact, I'm sure you do. Um, but anyway, give it a try. So, 
I'm off to Wales actually for a few days. Unfortunately, it's not entirely a holiday. But anyway, I'm off to Wales for a few days. And um, in the meantime, I think the weather forecast is pretty good. So in the meantime, if you've got uh, time to mess around with aerials and you're like me, get yourself a pair of wire cutters and a length of wire and uh, mess about in the garden. Hopefully the weather's going to be okay. And uh, let me know how you get on. In the meantime, enjoy your ham radio. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video.